for a number of years, my bed sat by a tall window in my room. It almost spanned from the floor to the ceiling, so there was plenty of space for a good view. My blinds tended to stay closed. I liked to keep the sun out. I'd never thought much of having my bed directly by the window. We lived out in the middle of nowhere, and you would have to go out of your way to visit our house. The path to it is lengthy, and the house itself is hidden behind a cluster of massive trees. There was a particular night I felt rather tired, but my body just wasn't having it. I couldn't get to sleep as much as I wanted to. My mind was racing as I lay there helplessly, thoughts rushing like cars on a busy highway. I gently clutched Mr. Snuffy, my teddy bear, wishing I could get some rest. My alarm clock nearby, I saw it was almost four in the morning. It felt like I had only been lying here for an hour, but it had been five or six. At last, my senses began to gradually shut down. I could feel sleep's grip slowly tightening around me, and it was so relieving, but did not last long. I was alerted by some faint rustling. It sounded like it came from right outside my window. I ignored it. We get wild animals out here all the time. They tend to cause a little noise here and there. Maybe a few minutes later, I hear a light scratch at my window. This time a tinge of fear crawled up my spine. I decided to take a look outside the window. Mustering up some courage, I slowly turned and tried to turn the blinds a tad to see outside. It was difficult to see since the moon was hiding tonight, but I could just barely decipher the outline of a dark figure hunched over outside my window. My entire body tensed up as the figure seemed to notice I was looking right at it, and it moved closer to the window. I saw a hand wave, and a dark face peer in even closer. I watched the figure's tongue slither up the glass pane, hungrily, lustfully, and shrieked in absolute terror as I stumbled out of my room. Bursting into my parents' bedroom, I frantically woke them and urged that someone was peeping inside my window. My father hurried for one of his golf clubs as mom called the police. I felt a bit safer as I watched dad switch on the outside lights around the house and dash out the front door. Mom held me close by her side with her free arm as she conversed with the police. I held on to her, hoping dad would catch this perv and beat him to a pulp. Dad came back inside a few minutes later out of breath from running so much. He had no luck finding the creep, so we waited inside with all the doors locked. A police car showed up about ten minutes later, and two officers knocked on our door. After briefly questioning us about the situation, they surveyed the property with flashlights and eventually returned. The guy had vanished. They found nothing. The police came inside and questioned us, primarily me, more extensively about what happened. After all their questions were answered, they advised us to call them if anything weird happened, and left. My parents let me sleep in their room on a cot for the rest of the night, Dad leaving his golf club by the side of the bed. I don't know how to feel about the whole thing. My mind wanders question after question. If I can feel safe in this house anymore. If the police would get here in time if the creep came back if he would come back at all. Since this incident, I have moved into a room with a smaller window and keep my bed far away from it. Instead of a fuzzy teddy bear, I now sleep near a loaded handgun.